Which, uh, what's your worst piece you have hanging in your closet? Something uh, you've never worn, bought and never there's worn. There's so many things that I will never wear. Mm -hmm. We'll also had, not get rid of. never worn, yeah. but I just can't get rid of. Yep. We should bring them in and swap them. Yeah, let's, yeah I'll bring oh. in all of my non-wearables. That's a great idea. Yeah. yeah. I have so many dead weight. The non-wearables. Yeah. Yours have to be just god-awful. <laughs> yeah, you like have the, dead weight clothes? Oh, yeah. Like I got a lot. Your best shirts probably came from a t-shirt cannon. <laughs> yeah. That's not wrong. Good. Not wrong. Um, we good? Yeah, yeah. All right. You mean you're exactly to reply to what I'm going to say? No, you're just going to say, like, no, that's a new untold story. Yeah, yeah. Hey, is that story over told? Fuck no, baby! That's a new untold story. A new untold story. Untold Story episode 389. Um, I'm sorry. No, you're good. 389. Yeah, you got it. Bits dead. Um, after four Follow. years, bits. Do you want me to do my thing? Yeah, do your thing. <laughs> Real quick. You want me to say the number wrong? We're here with Mincy, by the way. Mincy has to go to the dozen and 30. But Mincy, when I walked in today, just you shared some information with me of, of a story from 25 years ago. Yeah, 24 years ago. My it's bad. It's never been shared. That's never been shared. It just you decided to tell me, and it knocked my socks off. Oh no! Yeah. <laughs> um, oh no! So I was like, Mitzi, please come up and tell this before you do dozen. But Kyle, do your thing first. Um, let's flash it back to three eighty nine. The, the year. year. Yeah. Not much going on, but Empress Mao, the daughter of Mao Jing and wife of Fu Dang, was executed by Yao Chang <laughs> because she refused to be his concubine. Whoa! Uh, I think that's fair on all sides. Quid pro bono. That's that. <laughs> was that just a little history lesson? Yeah. Who can you? Uh, who were they? Don't don't pull out your phone again. But who were they? The, I, the relatives in the Chinese emperor empire had they shared the same first name. Mm. Yeah. So it was a lot of Mao Mao and Mao were related. It was Mao Yao Bing and Yao Peng, something like that. Okay. And uh, concubine. Concubine oh, is lover? sex partner without the status. Ooh. Yeah. That's modern. That. Yeah. That's interesting. Rudy, uh, you're going to drop this on a girl in, in a week? Yeah. Would you be my <laughs> concubine? Hey, I don't really do this very often, but would you be my concubine? Yeah. <laughs> that would be really nice. How, you, how, how could I betray you? You're my concubine. Being with a beautiful woman, uh, I think, is a nice segue to Mincy's story. Can I ask one question before you start? You can ask as many questions as you want. Why did you all of a sudden on a Wednesday morning in March just tell this story that's 24 years old to Nick? Like, why did this come? Well, I, okay, I'll tell you why. So when I went to Laugh Factory and saw the stand-up that Walker hosted, and then I went and saw Francis in Nashville, it got my brain kind of rolling about it. Fuck yeah. And I kind of got asked to possibly host a Laugh Factory night, and I after going to a couple... The juices are flowing. I'm like, hey, I might can do that. Okay. I don't know, like, <laughs> you know. And uh, so, Sid, I might can do that. And you know, go into yeah, a couple. Yeah, that was <laughs> that's what you said. Yeah. And so, since since the juice has been flowing, I was like, well, I've got a lot of crazy ass, embarrassing stories uh -huh. that I think can make more than most, laugh. probably. Surely. Yes. And so, sure. Nick, being, you know, I thought I'd bring it up, tell him a couple of them. I was so jealous that he had this experience. <laughs> And so uh, I don't uh, want you to wa waste your I don't want you to waste your entire uh, arsenal of stories. But oh, I got I plenty did. of stories, but this this is you you might have an hour of stand up already, Mincy. Yeah, I don't I don't know about like the delivery. Like, there's such an art to it that I would that is, there's so many nuances to it that take so yeah. much to learn. I think I just get up there and raise. I hell think you just say, raise you, hell you just have to say shit. I think you just say shit because what you told me today was funnier than a lot of things I've heard. So what what. Go start us at the top. Okay. So I'm actually proud of myself that I'm self confident enough to tell the story now. <laughs> it's good. That's, it's, it's, it's my most embarrassing high school story by far. Oh my God. Okay. But it's, but I'm 40 years old. So this is 24 years ago. Mm -hmm. So I think the statue of limitations. Of the, you, were you stuck in something? Were you upside down hanging from something? Worse than all that. <laughs> so, okay. <laughs> 
okay, here goes. Cause mm-hmm. this is, I've been laughing. This is, this is, this is rough. This is gonna be tough to tell. Oh my God. So my junior year of high school, I'm going to homecoming and like any, I guess, uh, teenage boy, I was feeling myself and I asked the girl to go to homecoming that was very, very, very far out of my league. How far out of your league? She was like in the running for Miss Louisiana. Okay. In high school. Did you have prior communications with this uh, We girl? grew up together. Wait, so wait, we, wait, wait, wait. Okay. So we so were she's friends. She's beautiful. Yeah. Model S. Yeah. Beautiful. Not, not going to leave her name out the story, but, uh, mo- but beautiful, like model. We grew up together. All that, friends. It was cool because we'd grown up together. So it was like friends, whatever. You know, it wasn't, well, it wasn't awkward, but then it became real awkward. So, anyway, so we're taking our homecoming pictures. So she says yes to go with she you. Says yeah. She says yes? Yeah. Oh, yeah. She's all, so, yeah, we're friends. Oh, this that, that's so embarrassing, embarrassing that you, as went, hell. you yeah. went to a homecoming with Miss Louisiana. <laughs> yeah. Well, it, the story starts good. So, yeah. I mean, she was all about, we grew up together. Like, we'd been in school together. She was kindergarten. I was friends with her family. Were you hoping it would blossom into a romance? I didn't have a chance at hell. Okay. I, think. <laughs> I, just thought, I just thought, hey, why not ask this, like, beautiful girl to high school? They'll say yes because we grew up together. Yeah. You know, yeah. so I thought it looked good in the picture, but I was wrong. You look, you didn't look good in the picture? No. <laughs> uh, yeah, but so hair? So let's just Face? say, so we go, you know, you know, in high school, you, have your you had a sloppy outfit. Maybe. But so you go to take your picture and like, you know, you <laughs> high school, you have your homecoming or prom group pictures or whatever. Mm-hmm. Let's just say I showed I was way too excited to be in that picture. Oh. <laughs> this is Mincy, the, are you hard as a rock in all your homecoming photos? Just this one. <laughs> this is the official, like, professional photographer yeah. photo that you print out, hang on the fridge. And you're and hard? You're hard? Buddy. Visibly? It, uh, it was pretty It was pretty apparent. <laughs> <laughs> and so so you're, you're smiling real big with Miss Louisiana, and you're hard. I mean... <laughs> Wait, I'm not was, saying. Was this like a parent taking the photo, or this a was like professional? This, this at was the like dance. the one you take. At the dance? At the dance. <laughs> so wait, hold on, hold on. You're hard yeah. in it? Wait, so th- this is exists? There's a physical- I could try to per- find it and run it down, even though I don't know that I want run to. Run it, yeah. Because now I'm thinking about from the point of view of the photographer, who is a professional, and is now handling- yeah, a minor's photo with an erection was. It, I mean, well, there were like eight of us in the he, picture. Yeah, he, that's yeah. illegal. That's like. Well, no, you, you is it illegal? illegal? It's no. not illegal. Take, all right, taking pictures. A pants no, boner. It's not a his pants fault. boner. It's a yeah, pants boner. It wasn't coming out, yeah, was it? It wasn't coming out. Was it? Um, no, but I mean, it is. It was. Was it fighting to come? What did well, it, the funniest part too about it is one of my. The funniest parts the boner. Well, in the yeah, photo. yeah, yeah. Well, the other part about it that I could never live down. So one of my best friends that was in the picture with his girlfriend too. Had this picture so prominently displayed at the front of his house, in his parents' house, that every single time he would walk in, every single time he'd walk in after school to start his day, he'd just go look at the picture and then just start laughing and shaking. Put a boner in the forehead. So this was hanging. Um, Yeah. So So the photo got out, clearly. Yeah. So did you speak to that? Did that girl talk to you afterwards? Like, it was always a little awkward, but we're still friends. Yeah, you're still friends. Did she know? Oh, hell yeah. That you. It's kind of cold. That's icy. Yeah. I mean, it was pretty obvious. You didn't care. Um, oh, I was embarrassed as hell about it. I hadn't told the story in 20 years. If you text years. her right now and we're just like, hey, do you remember our homecoming you, photos? I, I could do that. Do you have her contact? Uh, I, I don't have her phone number, but I, have, I, I saw her at our, we had our uh, 20 year reunion. I oh, saw her was this like a Y2K Dude. boner? This was like, those were this, was 90, this was 1999. Oh, so this was before the tucking into the waistband was invented. Yes. Because yeah. that came right after the cool S. Yeah. The, 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 yeah. They didn't figure that out until 2000. <laughs> the timeline of it. Yeah. This, yeah. Was, <laughs> this was 16 year old uh, me. And was the, it post 9 11 when they figured out how to tuck boner into yeah, waistband? I think so. It, um, it might have been the bit. same exact day. It was uh, when Montel Jordan was popping. Okay. There was an emphasis on security after that. Yes. Yes. So. Six, eight, six, eight Montel Jordan. And uh, Maria Maria. That was like a. Yeah. But that's when the it people would have were been talking. Legendary if you were hard in the reunion photo. Um, <laughs> oh, yeah. Wait, little. did you talk to her at the reunion? Oh yeah, we did. We had the dance floor at the reunion. Yeah, we're cool. Is I she mean, wh- like I knew her my whole white, life. White chick. What's up? White chick. Yeah. Oh, you're blonde. S- she milkman. Got a couple kids, but still yeah. Fun. Yeah. Yeah, but uh, no, but still like still friends. You know, whatever. Just yeah. we'll always have that awkward moment. Were you wearing a tuxedo? It was homecoming, so it wasn't a tux. Like prom so was a tux. Suit. 
Yeah, I was wearing a suit. That's a hard thing to. I was actually wearing khakis. I was actually wearing khaki pants. <laughs> oh, so that that kind of showed. That little. shows it a lot. That more was with that the was shadows. why the bulge those are, was. Yeah, those were not prevalent. waterproof whatsoever. Yeah, it was. Uh, Do you remember that night? Were you were you that way a lot of the night? I don't. I honestly don't remember hardly anything of it, and didn't even know it had happened until I saw the picture come out. <laughs> oh. And when that picture came out, though, y'all understand. I'm on. I mean, I obviously. You know, you can imagine how much I heard about it. What did friends. you look like in high school? I'll have to get some pics. But 16-year-old me, let's see, I, I had, okay, I had glasses. Like I, So I was basically like legally blind, blind in my right eye until I had LASIK surgery done oh, the week before I came to Barstool. So you were had thick-ass glasses. Yeah, I had like glasses and like as – as I still do now, like the weight just yo-yos like crazy because I'm either like on a huge health kick or I'm not. So at this I think point, at this point, I was looking decent. Okay, you played mm -hmm. tennis. I played tennis. Yeah, I was a good tennis player. State champion. Yeah, yeah. and hard. I need you to. I need the photo. <laughs> I, I I I have a feeling I can run it down. I think <laughs> we need to <laughs> run it. Okay, down. I'll try. I'll try to run it down for you. <laughs> oh my god, next, my buddy. Like, I I know my buddy. Like I said, my buddy that had it. I mean, dude, he had it up in like the most prominent picture in his house, place in his house. And why did your buddy have this picture? Because he was in it. It was a, oh, I was, was like, him and his girl like, were in yeah. it, but he would just literally, like, I'll never forget, he would walk in his house, he would look at it, he'd just shake his head and he'd just smirk, and then he'd keep going. He just did it every day. Did he slap yeah, it like, like the, the Notre, Notre Dame, Dame thing? thing. <laughs> <laughs> he just never got enough of it. Yeah, Mook. And I'm, I'm on a high school group thread with all of them, and I can't wait. I'm going to text him. I told the story. The yeah, I cannot wait. Well, and I'll try to run it down. Yeah, Mincy. I don't thank, know how hard I'll thank try. Thank you, though. yeah. Wait, I'm, hold on. But I don't know how hard I'll try. Yeah. I was, <laughs> was, did people, was the only time the boner was acknowledged from the photo or when we were at the dance was the boner? No, it was only acknowledged in the photo. Okay, so you, uh, you weren't like dancing with her and just were like, no. sorry about the boner? You weren't like knocking over the ladle to the fruit punch? No, no, <laughs> no, I don't think so. I just think it, I just think, honestly, I didn't even know what happened until the picture came so out. So you don't know what triggered the boner? You don't know what song it was, what dance? I think it was just me having my arms around this girl being too excited you, when I was a horny 16 year old. Yeah, were you proud triggered. of the visually? Was it, is this good? This was not, I was not proud. Did, did you guys? I, I, was, I was, I was, I was, I mean, I'm probably turning red 24 years later what, turning stories. So. Was grinding a thing back then, dancing? Yeah, I, I got pretty, dude, you the pretty old, ground old on? school St. Fred's dance has got wild. Did you bro. do like the, what is the Miss Weatherall dance? The, the funniest part, I couldn't believe this, but yeah. our 20 year reunion, like we're like all, you know, 39, 40. And I mean, it was a free for all on the dance floor in the 20 year reunion. I've, seen I've never seen anything like it. Like, we had a DJ playing like old school, like 90s and 2000 rap from like 8 to 11 at a, a club, a country club. And it was such a wild dance party that one of my buddies went and gave the DJ money to play till 1 a.m. And dude, it was like all these 39 and 40 year olds going wild. It Were was they insane. Grinding? Yeah, they, they throw down in Monroe, Louisiana still. Uh, yeah. Most dangerous city in America. Yeah, it did. It, don't believe everything you hear. Okay. Well, it is kind of dangerous. Yeah, though. yeah. And a lot of reports South say it's number one in a lot South of different South metrics. That's but insane. I, I, that you're, yeah, you're from there. Yeah, oh yeah. We're we're alive here. We're living. You know, we're doing it. <laughs> we're we're yeah. trying to control what's in our pants a little better, but uh, yeah, a little better. Yeah. Oh, how was South Bend? South Bend was good, uh, except for the basketball game. We got destroyed, but loved the campus. It was like the Vatican. For college Catholic campuses, I mean, it was insane. Yeah, I <laughs> it was I so beautiful, that. though. I mean, you could see where all their money that the Catholic Church always asks for goes. Yeah, mm -hmm. you know, but it was it was fun, and uh, you know, a lot of good stuff coming up as always. Staying busy. Good. Oh, well, yeah. Mincy, thank, thank you so you. much for telling the story. Go win the dozen. Go beat Brandon. Uh, I'll, uh, like I said, I'll search for that picture, but I don't know how hard I'll search. Okay. Okay. Uh, <laughs> maybe. Maybe if you guys are listening and we're there's one guy that they have it. There's one person. That okay, they have it. okay. Okay. Yeah. And uh, I'll text about it. I right, thank y'all for having thank me. You, I'm glad yeah. I made it on episode uh, 389. 389. Yeah. Wow. yeah. yeah. Right. Thank you, Mincy. No, yeah. Sure. The man. The man. Kyle. Yep. Are you going to an event? An event? <laughs> you going to an event anytime? Yeah. Cecilia's ball. Mm -hmm. Crucial intake of pink. A lot on the horizon for me, event wise. Yes. Yeah. And you know where I got my tickets. I'm yeah. going to. Are those fake band names? Yeah, because you've talked about crucial. Well, that's my paint. old uh, painting on Microsoft. But uh, okay, yeah, but I do have. Uh, I'll be going to Cubs games. I'll be going to a concert or two this summer. A lot. What about yeah. you? Yeah, I'm going to go see uh, um, Ben Platt. Ben Platt. Yeah, is that a fake musician? No, no. I think that's the uh, the full cheeked boy from uh, from. Uh, 
Dear Evan Hansen. <laughs> okay, yeah. Well, have fun at Ben Platt. Thank you. And um, if you want to switch your seats at the last second, mm -hmm. you can. Where? For cheap. Game Time, the mm -hmm. app. They have the best deals. They have the zone deals. They have last minute tickets available. Yeah. You shouldn't have to worry when you buy tickets to your next big event. Game Time is the fast and easy way to buy tickets to all of the sports, music, comedy, and theater events near you. Why don't you come see Ben Platt with me? Um, yeah, maybe at the last second, I'll decide to use game time to see Ben Platt. Cool. Thank you, man. It's the best place for last minute seats with up to 60% off your favorite events. That's that's right. And you can get 20% off, well, $20 off if the ticket's $100. Right now, if you're a first time user, download the app and use code UNTOLD for $20 off your first ticket. Download the app, create an account. And use code UNTOLD for $20 off your first purchase. Terms do apply. Download the game time app today. Last minute tickets. Lowest price guaranteed. Kyle. It's it's it, at this point, it's like hanging out with a good friend when we talk about rent app. The ultimate tool for renters everywhere. Mm -hmm. Skip the ATM. No more fees. Do a lot of landlords listen to our podcast? I'd assume some. Some. Yeah. yeah. So this is for you. It's 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 an easy way for you to get paid, baby. Right. No but, fees. No fees. Uh, you don't have to worry about a check getting lost in the mail. No more managing multiple apps and balances. That's right. And it's uh, quick and easy. Really fast. Goes right from your bank to, to the landlords. Landlords, it goes right from their bank to yours. It's great. Why wait? Head to the App Store, download the Rent app today, and follow Rent app at Rent app on Instagram and Twitter. They're posting heat and fire. <laughs> and to our listeners, we've got an exclusive deal. Go to rent.app slash barstool and get $50, 50 back cash back on your first rent payment. That's $50 back. That's that's a pretty good dinner. A, an amazing dinner. Two entrees. And if you're a landlord, go to rent.app slash landlord. Get paid on time without the hassle. And like getting a visible boner in dress pants is really tough. Yeah. <laughs> I used to get so fearful of that because when I was in high school, we were at a, uh, I went to a Catholic school and we had a uniform. And we had to tuck our shirts in. Same. And oh, I yeah. Always get a boner in chemistry. Because you know uh, how that at that time they were almost like any schedule. Oh, yeah. It was like on a biological schedule. clock. Yeah, yeah. Like I would just get a boner in chemistry and I'd get so scared that I would have to like go up to the board when I had a boner. It was so. I, so, but you couldn't flip because of the tuck in. I had my buddy Logan. I've told this story. He flipped and put it in front of the pants. Everybody saw. That's the fear. <laughs> Um, that's the worst angle of a penis too, the undercarriage. Yeah, right. Yeah. The the circumcision scar. Yeah, the dark side of the moon. <laughs> yeah. So what I did is you I never would, want to show your boys your scar. Yeah, I would go through my pocket and then side pipe it. Oh, that's cool. It. Yeah, you dude. I remember. Yeah. I remember being so horny in high school. I drew a picture of an ass on my binder and I got hard. <laughs> but you, you're a good artist. I no was word. good. Yeah. It was I, bent over ass. I, don't, I a boy. I wasn't. I didn't. He, I heard about this. He was on some freak shit. He was so horny that he fucked his binder. <laughs> How do you fuck a binder? I don't know. Three ring? Yeah, I don't know. Had to have been. Yeah, you can't fuck a binder. No, you can find a way. Yeah, you can try, but like it just is like that would be a sick game show. Like it's like chopped. You have three items in your basket, and you have to fuck all three in twenty minutes. <laughs> yeah, to completion. <laughs> yeah. Chefs, today I fucked a. <laughs> a uh, plastic splink slinky a, a spider ring from Chuck E. Cheese worth yeah. two tickets <laughs> are we recording oh I don't know we're, we're still going yeah oh yeah let's I, keep, yeah fuck it okay one second um I have a new obsession based off we were on the bracket yesterday mm -hmm. and I love the four dummies books and so any anus listeners if you have any four dummies books lying around the house do you remember those of course um Mook, of course, spelling it four dummies, F number four. <laughs> no. You're going to have to get dummies for dummies, dude. The, book, the guidebook oh. to the dummies. And then he, he also spelled it D-U-M-B-I-E-S. Oh. <laughs> I know what you're talking about. Mook spelled four dummies. Four dummies. Four dummies. Uh, um, I just bought autism for dummies. Oh. <laughs> I'm looking at the list. Yeah. Yeah. That Fibromyalgia for, for dummies. dummies. <laughs> I just bought that. Some it's on its way. So I want a four dummies. I want this studio to be the premier four dummies library. There's some good ones. Pound for pound, some of the most pathetic books. I love the design because like you, that you have to be shameless carrying that around. I just pre-ordered one. They're still yeah. making them. I just pre-ordered one for 30 bucks. That's not even out yet. What is that? Imagine carrying this on public transport. Or like if you're like on a date and it's just like 
you carry it under you. It's personal boundaries for dummies. <laughs> Not you have to be the biggest pest in the entire <laughs> yeah, world to recognize that you need this. Like I'm, <laughs> I, I don't know personal space. I'm handsy, but I'm also fucking retarded. <laughs> <laughs> like I don't, I, yeah. I, I don't grasp it on like an elementary. Level. I can't <laughs> stop touching women's pussy, and I need to, <laughs> you know, like. I need to be told on a very base level how to not <laughs> yeah. grope women yeah. and just carrying this around. So I want to do a punishment with us. Like one of us has to just carry this around as an accessory for a week. Oh. Oh. Dude, like Sudoku for dummies. <laughs> Isn't that just like the bronze difficulty like, yeah. level? <laughs> I love the font what that, that? dummies is just like in crayon too. It's like the ch like. <laughs> oh yeah, they you really are emphasize poetry for that you are. And look at idiot. that guy. Look at that dummy struggling with poetry. <laughs> <laughs> Getting your book published for dummies. Need to know the success rate and turnaround for people <laughs> who read that and then had a book published themselves. I've been looking on like the really complex uh, the like categories for dummies like quantum physics. I have quantum computing for dummies that I was yeah. looking at and people were just like this doesn't belong in the dummy the like people are trying to like the talk. dummies they're universe. embarrassed that they read it but they're pissed it doesn't belong in the the, dun <laughs> the dummy uh, literary universe <laughs> DLU dude yoga for dummies you know how physically lazy you have to be <laughs> to read 300 pages before just going Stretching to a yoga for dummies. class <laughs> <laughs> you have to be the fattest. That's the most counterproductive thing in the world <laughs> to read 400 pages before you just stretch. <laughs> Dude, this guy, I think Lou B was very embarrassed to buy this book because he wants like if you're buying quantum computing, you look at yourself as a smart guy. Yeah. But this says four dummies on the cover. <laughs> and so he's like yeah. gives like. Is your Python programming ready for quadratic, unconstrained, binary optimization? If so, you're the dummy they're targeting. The lame and forced humor is a cellophane mask to hide the truth. There's nothing in quantum mechanics for dummies, and it doesn't belong in the series. I did learn from it, and it has merits. Oh, you're a dummy, dude. Three you're <laughs> Lou, you're a dummy! Yeah. You're such a dummy. But three stars. The book desperately needs a glossary. It overuses acronyms, and it's easy to find and replace them to write the full term. My name is Lou, and I stand by my review, despite the previous praise for the book. This guy definitely drove 45 minutes to a Barnes and Noble outside of his local So he wasn't area. seen. So he wasn't seen, wore a disguise. <laughs> yeah. a Groucho, a Groucho, <laughs> Groucho to Marx. Buy, uh, yeah. <laughs> to buy your no chewing gum. <laughs> <laughs> That's fake. That one's fake. That's fake. I'm ordering my four dummies in discreet packaging. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it comes yeah, in. Like it's it package it with chew. herpes medication <laughs> labeling. <laughs> The, the, oh, they're so, dude. Um, homeschooling for dummies. Imagine seeing your mom have that and just knowing your future is fucked. <laughs> yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, fuck. Oh, no. And like the homeschooling for dummies has horrible reviews because uh, they say multiple times parents with special situations, like if you work full time and can't afford to quit, and if you're a single parent, should not homeschool. And people are <laughs> livid about that. Yeah. People are livid. But my favorite is yeah. uh. <laughs> Catholicism for dummies because I guess it was really poorly put together and a lot of people are complaining that the book goes from page 16 to 49. <laughs> oh, so they, you know, they just, they to, I love that. That's how they should be. And then the one four star review is from a guy named Father Head. <laughs> You don't want your priest reading for dummies either. I'm obsessed with these four dummies books. I'm reading this guy. This is the getting your book published for dummies review. What's it say? It said the tone of the book came across as rather belittling. It felt as if the authors truly believe it was being written for dummies. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> they they recently rebranded. And so it's like a, it's a, uh, a not the, cr the crayon font of dummies anymore. Oh, man. I know. Yeah. I know. But I want. If you got, I know people have these probably sitting at home on their shelves. I would like yeah, how many? These have to be bought for novelty. Yeah, go to the one star review. Um, I don't know why I have the photo of the other one. I'll send it to you. There's a couple different variations. People get the so offended of it that being like, so, they're so if it pertains to them, they're just like, wait a second, they're calling yeah. me a dummy. Yeah, but there are so many of them, and they're still being written. It's incredible. I remember as a kid. 
I thought that like there had a moment I feel like when we were younger in like high school where like it was like not frowned upon to have them. Like I remember seeing people with them. Be I like, think oh, my parents like, had like America Online for dummies or like the internet. They I feel like every like yeah. family or like had one in their house and it wasn't that big of a deal. And now looking back on it, it really is. Nah, I was a cool. chicken soup for the soul, boy. You had chicken soups. Oh yeah, yeah. Were those all those religious? Were more highbrow. Yeah, maybe they were. We wait. We fitness for dummies. I want it. <laughs> that's the that. that's the laziest that's the book laziest in the world. That's the world. worse than the yoga. Oh we God. fitness for so dummies. The only thing lazier than doing fitness is doing a video game version of fitness, and then the only thing lazier than that is. <laughs> <laughs> but and it's so many steps to. It's almost not lazy. It's not. That's what I'm saying. It's physically lazy. Like you're so willing to put all this mental exertion into reading a big book. Before you just do something. How many pages is this? There's, there's not much info on it. Yeah, we got to get We Fitness for Dummies. <laughs> and one of us has to read it and do a full report. <laughs> God. Going to the cliff notes for a four dummies book because <laughs> you, can't, you can't comprehend. You can't comprehend the four dummies. Yeah. Two hundred and fifty-two yeah. pages. An audio book of yeah. That's yeah, reading the audio reading book. The audio. Now that's the laziest thing. How is that two hundred and fifty-two pages? I don't. How the fuck? We fitness is like how dumb is there? Like a fr rudimentary. There's a tutorial in we the, in the game. Almost gone. Only two us. Moot. Moot. Grab. 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 Grab both. Which other one? Uh, both of those. <laughs> I wanna, we should earnestly try to. What bars to employ would this be like a funny person to give his? <laughs> I don't, I'm just picturing like the biggest tub of lard. Like he's stuck to his couch from laying on it for so long, <laughs> listening to the audiobook of Wee Fitness for <laughs> and like huffing and puffing. Yeah. And they're going too fast. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Li okay, listening to the audiobook of We Fitness for Dummies on half speed. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, I promise you, yeah. as a bonus episode, when this book comes in, I will do the audiobook yeah. of this. And on an iPod or like an iPhone, but he's too lazy to hold the iPhone, so it's one of those cases. The neck cases. The neck case. <laughs> Yeah, we yeah. should attempt. We should do a YouTube video attempting to do the laziest thing on earth. Mm -hmm. And I think we just keep adding shit. on half speed, half speed, yeah. listening to the Wii Fitness for Dummies on an iPod on max volume, so we can like slurp and eat while he's <laughs> yeah, doing. You have to be eating. No, we need to get one of those yeah. super long straws. A really long straw. He's having. Uh, what should he be like a milkshake a mil with no, an, like an no. AI that pauses it like every 10 seconds so he can bite and yeah. shoot. <laughs> no we should do the instant breakfast like the liquid breakfast yeah yeah so it's a meal in a, in a smoothie yeah I want him to yeah, do pureed yeah. <laughs> pureed cheeseburger <laughs> in a feeding tube yeah. <laughs> The sleep mask on. We fitness for dummies. <laughs> I guys, I promise you, as soon as this comes in, I will do the audiobook and we will do this. He, he finishes it after so long and and he just does the, just uses the remote from laying down. He doesn't do the actual thing. <laughs> wait, you know, yeah, wait, can cheap. you get a can you get a remote for an iPhone? <laughs> and he ends up just using he ends up using Wii Fitness cheat codes. Yeah, <laughs> yeah wait. To do all the, the cheat code work. section of the Wii yeah, Fitness the, for the, Dummies the, book. The chapter on cheat codes. <laughs> <laughs> and he has to but he does he's too lazy to type them in himself. So he has to Look. voice to he has to, yeah. <laughs> he has to voice to text. <laughs> and he's doing he's doing Wii Fitness, not with the Wii Mote and the board, but the controller. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. On a GameCube yeah. controller. Yeah. <laughs> he's doing Wii Fitness on a GameCube controller. <laughs> oh, oh my god. Oh my god. This show is sponsored by BetterHelp. That's BetterHelp with no spaces. And a lot of us spend our lives wishing we had more. The question is, 
more time. And that probably frustrated you. Editor. No, no, no. Editor. It's okay, man. It's okay to make mistakes. Yeah, it's so easy to edit that out and no, just start No, no, it's fresh. okay to make mistakes. And oh, it's fine, man. Sometimes it's fine. Sometimes I feel like I can't handle No, no, man. Yeah. You should check out BetterHelp because therapy can help you find what matters to you so you can do more of it, Kyle. You won't be, your brain won't be cloudy and fogged and you won't make simple mistakes like that. I don't want to like travel and like have to face the person I'm telling my deepest, darkest troubles to. You can do it from your own oh. bed. You can okay. do it from your own okay. bed, from your futon. From from sitting on the ottoman, Kyle, you can talk to a licensed therapist, and if you don't like the therapist, which happens, you could switch real easy for with a, better. For how much? For how much? Guess to switch therapist, yeah. like just abruptly. Yeah, probably a, like a fee for them. Uh, probably fifty plus. No, it's free, man. Oh you can switch goodness. for free. It's entirely online. It's designed to be convenient. Download it now. Learn to make time for what makes you happy with BetterHelp. Visit BetterHelp.com/new today. To get 10% off your first purchase, that's BetterHelp, H-E-L-P, dot com slash new. Wow. I used, I used to fuck around with the Wii Fit. You had the Wii Fit? I had the uh, Biggest Loser game. You had to do it on there? Oh, oh yeah. That. <laughs> but you said, like, you you were on... That first off, that was pathetic. To play the yeah, biggest yeah, yeah. loser. First of all, let's not let that slide. <laughs> yeah. So you were how old were you? Like fifteen, fourteen. <laughs> oh, oh Mook, what were you doing wait, wait. to lose weight? Wait, you were, wait, wait, you were on wait, the Atkins can we, can we, diet. Yeah, I was, you were on the Atkins diet when he was in high school. Was, when he was a sophomore, I went to Weight Watchers for a period of time in high school. What do you mean went to Weight Watchers? What? <laughs> like, what like, you like, mean like went to AA? Weight? It's brick and mortar. <laughs> you show up, you weigh in, and then you you, you get a little pep talk from the Weight Watchers people. Weight oh. Watchers is a club? Yes. I thought it was br- like a yeah. diet. <laughs> That's what I thought. It's both. Um, it's a diet and it's a brick and mortar. Where do you meet? Like a gymnasium? You meet at a place called Weight Watchers. They show you a treadmill. <laughs> you met at like, Weight Watchers. Yet, but what, were the, what was the yeah, clientele what was, at Weight Watchers, Mook? I'm, all different walks of life. <laughs> <laughs> Would you like play hooky to... Hooky? <laughs> 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 I've only ever read that word. <laughs> I've only ever heard that word. I've never read that word. <laughs> How do you spell it? I don't fucking H O O K I E. Hooky. It's hooky, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. Fuck. It's, it's definitely hooky. <laughs> Spelled like hooky. Um, <laughs> shit. <laughs> wait, wait, what's wait? Let's find out why. What's it short for? What's the, what's the, where did it come from? No, that's, <laughs> wait a minute. So you'd play hooky <laughs> to go to Weight Watchers? Oh, no, it was like a regular. I that was part there. of the I school. I would go there once a week. It was yeah. on campus. You were going to Weight Watch. Who made you go? So yeah. freshman year of high school, I broke my ankle. I gained like 20 pounds because I was in a wheelchair for like a month. <laughs> <laughs> and on crutches. But so pathetic. And so you're, you're so pathetic. So pathetic. <laughs> yeah. Fuck off. Holy shit. Holy how did you break, it's like how sad. Did you break your ankle? Uh, like a month and a half into high school, I was like trying out for the wrestling team, like <laughs> doing workouts. And I broke my ankle getting, uh, I forget what the move was called, but I broke my ankle. And like I broke like nerves on my ankle. You broke your ankle weighing in. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> getting on the Toshiba scales too high up. <laughs> The step um, down from the scale yeah. just shattered. Uh, but I wasn't able to bear weight, so I had to be in a wheelchair, gained a bunch of weight, became chubby. So, like, sophomore year, I tried to address it, and me and my mother signed up for Weight Watchers. You together. and your mother signed <sighs> up together? Yeah. Wait, did you go to Weight Watchers with your mom? Yes. <laughs> I was like, the only people I know doing that were 40 plus year old women. Oh, I, yeah. I was the youngest there by 20 years. Were there males there? Couple males. It was like Northeast Philly Weight Watchers, so there were a lot of different parties involved. Uh, and every week you would go to a weigh-in. Yeah. And then there would be a meeting after where some dude, like, sells you on the program. And, like, it's kind of like AA, AA for fat people. That's like r- wrestling for the laziest person in the world. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah weigh in every week. <laughs> but didn't. And, and te- yeah, and teaching you. But wait, can we see the playthrough of the We Biz- Biggest Loser? I've been I've been getting fat. I've been eating like a fucking theme park vlogger. <laughs> yeah. 
Yeah. You know what I mean. I know exactly what mm-hmm. you mean. Then I headed over to the Tinkerbell's magical nook and tried the ooey gooey <laughs> Mickey Mouse toffee waffle. <laughs> I had my fat. Have you been watching I've theme been on park f- food reviewers? I know this one dude, he just talks in that cadence, but I have my fattest visual to date after b- we went to the buffet or the, 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 the rotary The buffet. rotary yeah. sushi? Yeah. Let me see. What's your fat? Why did you have a picture taken of you? <laughs> this is so embarrassing. <laughs> Wait, but- <laughs> after y'all, uh, after you guys um, <laughs> Ubered back, I stuck around. <laughs> no! <laughs> no! Yeah. You know, and I, you know. You stayed at the bopped around Chinatown. Did you like it? I loved it. Yeah, it's it's a cool. Pl- it's very cool. But um, hopped in a gift shop, bought a navy blue scarf because I wanted to promote <laughs> Yale and the basketball game for the Buster's competition. Yes, and <laughs> I nervously like asked the uh, cashier to take a picture of me in my. I had the Yale sweatshirt on, and. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, you asked the Chinese cashier of these gift shops to take a photo of you? Yes, and it's it's so fat. Is it just a plain blue scarf? Uh, yeah. <laughs> it's not that fat. Yeah, let me see. It's not that but you've been looking super Jewish lately. I have been. Yeah. My nose like got a little <laughs> never mind. <laughs> yeah, you look big puffy. You do that. look a little a puffy. puffy yeah. yeah. I thought you stuck around at the sushi and had more food. Oh, no, no, no. Yeah, you were sneaking rolls on the conveyor belt. Yeah, yeah. That that is the fattest place you can go. Oh yeah, because it's an all-you-can-eat buffet without having to get up out of your seat. Yeah, mm-hmm. uh, but at least it's sushi for the most part. That's like we. They fat. had like they yeah. had cheesecake. They had a lot of pies and cakes. Yeah, mm. that was nice. It was nice. That was great. Here's the the Wii Fitness. Uh, oh yeah, gameplay. It's it's a swimming pool. This is the full, oh. full body workout. And this is what you would do? Oh, yeah. What let difficulty? Uh, you would do light? I'd do light. You would do so light is, exercises. Wait, I, mean, I want to see somebody do kicks. it on the board. But you don't need a game for this, Mook. You kind of do. Why? Um, it, it held me accountable. I wanted, <laughs> I wanted to beat my scores every week. You played a jumping jack video game. Yes. Oh no, 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 jumping jack. That's what it just was. Up yeah. I wonder what chapter that was of the book. <laughs> <laughs> uh, did you buy it, Mook? Because I just bought another. I want. I want every one that's ever been made. I got the jumping jacks cheat. <laughs> <laughs> is this guy speed running it? Uh, I'm looking for a video. Oh, this guy is just putting a Wii in the Wii Fit board. Mook. So did you see results? Yeah. Yeah, I did. I lost like uh, ten pounds. That's good. Calculating my points every day. I was. What are your point? What does that mean? So Weight Watchers, the way it works is they give you a point system for food. This is AA. It's like a token. So you, you like assign yeah. values to like a chicken sandwich, and you're like, oh, I, that's five points. I have what? fifteen points remaining. For Why the day. Are they, it's point based? Yes. That's those are like unnecessary. It's just all calories. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah, but simplifying, fl- simplifying. Is it, it so. simplified though? Yeah, because yeah. like I bet you some things are like fifteen points, and you could probably have like sixty a day. Is it like does it proportionally equivalent to calories? Yeah, it's equivalent to like it. It's um, it depends on like your body weight and your um, like your like what you are. So like you get a certain like my mom would only get like fifteen points a day, and oh. I would get like twenty five because I was like younger. Did and, your mom like, force better. you to do it? No, I wanted to do it. You wanted to do Weight Watchers with your mom. Yeah. <laughs> As a sophomore? Yeah. Did, did I, people I, I, know? I, I, I might have been a junior. Junior? Yeah. Did people know? <laughs> no, nobody know. I kept that shit low key. Would you rather be at Weight Watchers with your mom in high school or have a visible, Whatever you or, say. A visible Whatever you erection? say. You guys call it pathetic. I was bettering myself, so fuck all of you. No, I'm glad you saw results. Nah. Did you see results? Yeah, I lost like 10 pounds. And then I put it right back on. That's yeah, not, that's not enough. <laughs> I'll be honest. That's ten to go to Weight yeah, Watchers. To do all that. Yeah. I, that's I, like I, a I significant. Obese. I know, but that's what, yes, why you shouldn't have done it. Yeah, but I had. No you were other... doing obese things. Yeah. Yeah, I was. The we we fit board. A jumping jack video game is pathetic. <laughs> yeah. Just do jumping jack. I could. I didn't have like the discipline. Yeah, you could have just done. You didn't have the discipline <laughs> to do jumping. I I needed the toys and the game, and then I would play COD after. And it was oh like my a god! Oh my god! <sighs> Kyle, you and I always fight who gets to read this. So let's read it together. Okay. Count us down. 
In the name of the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Virgin, Virgin Mary, Mary, fool of weed, weed Hitler's, Hitler's balls, cocaine, cocaine chickens, chickens, and a priest with, with a shotgun. shotgun. What am I talking about? What am I about? talking about? The, the, the gentleman. gentleman. It's Guy Ritchie's first yeah. series ever. If you're a fan of movies like Scratch and Lock, Stock, and Two Smoking Barrels, then you're going to lose your shit <laughs> it's over... A, it's a movie called Snatch. I always... The, the commas and the Oxfords <laughs> over his net... But he, you know, his work speaks for itself, and from what I understand, the series is even better than the film. It's more action-packed than Crack and Aces or Shoot 'em Up. Uh -huh. It's got comedy, it's got action... It's yeah. it's everything you need in a television show. Guns, pinkies up, Britain's criminal underworld. Watch what happens when you try to play gangsters at their own game. That's right. Don't miss the gentleman. Now playing on Netflix. I I, I promise you guys. Uh if this gets in by if this book gets in by Monday, I will come in Monday, read every bit. And we'll put out the audio. Can we get in trouble for putting out our own audio book of a book that's for sale? Fuck it. Yeah, yeah fuck do it. Dude. Yeah, that's, that's a way to go down. Yeah. And then let's let's try to let's put in a ton of hard work to do the laziest thing ever. Yeah, this is the we fit. Yes. Yeah. It's perfect. And then we'll make a YouTube video of trying to be. <laughs> <laughs> Look at him. <laughs> I try and lose weight in 30 days. I'm picturing. <laughs> I'm also picturing us There's like, like we <laughs> fail. Yeah, somebody does it lazier. Yeah, we fail, and then <laughs> we're like, where it. our run went wrong. I mean, we'll put out the video of attempting to do the laziest thing ever, and then somebody will reply with a video, just be like, "I'm not doing that," and then they'll beat yeah. us. Hey, I'm trying to think how to make it even lazier. Like, you not use a slim all. gym as a bookmark, but. <laughs> Then you eat it so you don't know where you are in the book. <laughs> so you have to you keep have to use starting the, over. You, you have to, you're looking for your like oil mark on the book. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Oh, big boy. I trained We Fit for 90 days. There's definitely something in the Sharper Image catalog that oh. has a book holder that oh. turns the page for you. <laughs> yeah, a page oh, is turner. There a, well, we're doing the audiobook. So Fuck. listen to the audiobook oh, yeah. half speed. Yeah, he doesn't even have the book. Fuck. What can... Uh, but I want the, I want him to have his phone like in that neck pillow thing. Is there an iPhone remote? Uh, there is. There has to be. Yeah, there is right here. The auto clicker for TikTok scrolling. Oh my oh. god. <laughs> okay, we'll get that. Oh um, my! I've been back on my TikTok uh, philanthropy. You've been paying? Oh, uh, it's soul sucking. At any given moment, there are thousands of people. In America alone, on TikTok Live, LARPing as a celebrity to an audience of six people or less. Do you have any? And it's so frustrating because I'm 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 doing like the Aloha from Pyongyang, and then <laughs> wait, wait, what? You can't just say that like it's a thing. And then I'm doing. What are you doing? What are you? What's Aloha from Pyongyang? That's what I say. Right. But no, no one ever knows. They always they can't pronounce neither either of those words. They're always like Ola from. Pyong Gong. <laughs> and then I do baby burples, baby burbles for galaxies. Excuse me? I offer them baby bur burbles for galaxies. What are baby burbles? It's when you put your like finger to your mouth and do that sound and I give them a galaxy. How do they know what that is? I have to spell it out for them. How? It's, a lot of them do it. Do you have a video? Um <laughs> you have a screen recording. Let's see what I got. <laughs> It's pathetic, yeah. Speaking of. He said, he said. <laughs> and then you'd pay him a galaxy? Yeah, he has to do it for 20 seconds straight. <laughs> <laughs> and then I give him a galaxy. How much is a galaxy? It's like the equivalent of $20. <laughs> okay, so yeah. yeah. So a lot of people do it. I'm trying to picture like what you're doing while, you, while you're in actively doing this. Like I'm picturing you in your apartment with like a nice drink set and like a Komodo and just loving life, making people do this. Oh yeah, I was having, I was doing it all night. <laughs> can you, in a can you bath. send that to Mook? Or do you have anybody trying to say Pyongyang? Oh, none of them. In turn, Troy, I appreciate you, brother. Hola from. They always say Ola. It's Aloha. What's pop? And they don't even try to pronounce Pyong. Yeah, I have a lot of, I have a lot of clips. <laughs> Wait, so keep going. I'd have to. <laughs> you can't, you can't just sit on this. 
Yeah, but they're like all messy. I'd have to like. What do you mean messy? Up. Like, there's a lot of like dead air and shit. <laughs> yeah, but she's trying to find it. KB, I think you started a trend because the tiny diny thing to now. Are you caught up with uh, the Miles Morales NPC lore? He's no. What's that? He's just Spider Man on. Oh, I've on heard live about all him. the time. Every time he gets a galaxy, he has to do like a jump where he like jumps back in, and this is him getting like frustrated that too many people are gifting him galaxies. Jumping, right? That's what you want to see. You want to see me jump? You want to see a black guy jump? You want to see, oh. you want to see uh. him jump around, huh? That's what you want to see? Dude, just oh. clock out. He, yeah, <laughs> clock out. <laughs> okay, yeah, you're, just stop. You're working. <laughs> that, that look on his face right there. <laughs> Where's his jump? Right here. Whoa. That was it? That was 20 bucks? He has to do that Wait, so every he, time a galaxy is gifted. But that's $20. He's getting paid. Uh, People, so much money. People are saying it's, he's, yeah, he's doing think... it on purpose to get more. Uh, yeah, oh, yeah, definitely. That's what, he, that's what he's definitely yeah, doing. Yeah, definitely. Is. Shame on me. Yep. Mm. Well, I want to hear one attempt of Pyongyang. Let me see. Has anybody gotten it correct? No one has known where it is. Okay. <laughs> How do you know? Because <laughs> everyone's like, oh, I don't know where that is. I think if you just saw the word Pyongyang, you'd get a guess. Aloha. Pyongyang. Hey, that was right. Was Singapore, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, you guess Singapore. <laughs> what was he eating? Chips. <laughs> Ew. Mm, I don't really have a favorite city in Africa. Oh, I was asking him what's your favorite city in Africa, and <laughs> no one had one. <laughs> Everyone was like, I, I don't know, I've never been there, but I heard it's beautiful. Oh my god. Oh, this is an aloha from Ethiopia. <laughs> You're I, I had a blast doing this. But how much money have you spent on TikTok? With uh, uh, that was like uh, that you're not that even was, doing for content. Three hundred dollar night. <laughs> oh, dude. <laughs> yeah, I'm done. That's bad. I think. Are you addicted? Not anymore. No. 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 <laughs> no. 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 What's your newest addiction? And also, what's that? What's that bloated photo going to do to your psyche? I went. I've been not eating. I've been starving myself for the oh. past forty eight hours. Okay. Can you send me that photo? Doing like an hour on the incline treadmill. Mm. No. Are you feeling weak or woozy? <laughs> I actually feel great. You haven't eaten in 48 hours. No, I'm just doing like 20, 22 hour fasts than eating one meal. What's your meal? It's big. It's like it's loaded with carbohydrates. Okay. It's it's a decent meal. What else? Oh, did you see this, KB? You have a, you have a dog up for adoption named KB. <laughs> That's a cute dog. You going to adopt what? it? What KB. genre is that? Uh, <laughs> a love bug with a heart of gold. Aw. Dude, it is a dog. cute dog. Aw. Oh, he's scared. He's cute. Favorite things are cuddling up next to you. Mm. Adopt KB. No. Okay. Oh, my God. <laughs> no. No. No, no but, but the BRGs can adopt KB. Oh, yeah. Someone should. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it'd be a little fun thing we have together. His energy level on a scale of one to ten is four. That's not bad. He's a little bit timid around the hustle and bustle of the city life, but steadily overcoming his shyness. Is this in Chicago? Uh, a lot of I didn't get a dog named after me. That's I got oh, mad dogs, tough, mad dogs name Rudy. Yeah, Rudy's. Pro There's a website that says if your name's more of a dog name or a human name. I'm pretty sure mine's more of a dog. I name. think yours is probably more of a dog name. Yeah, Rudy's a very common. Rudy's dog a name. dog name. Yeah, it's like a hot dog name too. Or what, why would I? What do I think that? I don't. Know. Damn, bro. Thanks. <laughs> is there a place called Rudy's that sells hot dogs? <laughs> oh, I thought you meant like an attractive dog name. <laughs> Yeah, that's what I thought. Oh, really? And I took it as a compliment. Yeah, you're like, yeah, yeah, it is. It's like it's it's like more attractive dogs. Uh, yeah, you were into that. Yeah, that's that is even weirder. There's a lot of Rudy's um, like bars. Yeah, I think they give out hot dogs. The one in Manhattan. I've been to that one. Yeah, it's yeah. A good dive. Then you confirm my theory. Okay, so good. Rudy's ramen. No, no, there's Rudy's no Rudy's ramen, hot dogs. Rudy's grill. Rudy's mufflers. I, I'm looking are, at my legs right now. Uh, oh, you're more casual than me today. I'm the most casual guy in the world now. Um, these aren't j fake Nike socks. I just can't stretch out the Nike check to be. Yeah, why is it so tiny? <laughs> it's oh, actual. It's a minute check. 
<laughs> what is up with that? My ankles just aren't big enough to is stretch. That what... <laughs> I think it's, actually, your I think it's actually smaller than the pat when it's in the packaging. Yeah, it's. <laughs> I think <laughs> it's not the full length check, but I swear these are yeah, actual. Those are mini Nike checks. <laughs> <laughs> yeah because i just saw rudy's ankles with the van socks and that his he has the logo skewed on your ankles oh yeah dude mine's stretched way crazy damn god damn what have what have you guys been doing for fun for you fun a new thing do i have a new thing yeah no new thing no oh, okay what no i haven't been doing anything for fun i'm big back into crosswords oh we are we all are as a team oh, i've been playing been ssx3 on my ps2 that's sick. Great game. Um, you don't know that. Um, I don't. I've come. I, I I'd imagine any modern game is more fun. I've come to that conclusion. Yeah, nostalgia heads need to realize that. Yeah, uh -huh. yeah. I'm just coping with a simpler time. I'm missing a simpler time in life. Right. It's not that things were better. Uh huh. At all. Uh oh. Also tomorrow. Uh today. I forgot to get hotels for half the days I'm in Italy. Oh. I found out yesterday. Oh, you go next week. Yeah. I just uh, forgot. Oh yeah, what are you gonna do? Uh, d just figure, buy a hotel. You, you buy yeah. a hotel, That's but not works. not probably in the nicest spots or yeah, nice sucks. hotels, and probably not the cheapest rate. Yeah. Oops, a daisy. Yeah, I just got the flight. Oh <laughs> wait, so brother, you said fucked. that you got you didn't get them for half the days. I didn't get hotels for half the days. I got the hotel for when we got there, and then I'll just like put it off, and then I forgot. <sighs> Maybe you can make some lemonade though, dude. Like you can maybe find like an Airbnb don't, or don't something. Don't be saying that. Don't be saying that. <laughs> make some lemonade. Don't be saying that. that didn't f roll off the tongue. Did it not? Yeah. Nah, not really. So you're going to Rome and Florence. Yeah. Is there a Rome for dummies? Yeah, Rome, New York. I want every single. I want every. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. The Romans for dummies too. These are a, like a med, a di different authors. I'm. Assuming. Oh yeah, they get an expert. Second edition, too. Third, third edition, too. Do you think you wouldn't... Is there a dummies guidebook for dummies? There needs to be an AI whores for dummies. What? Did you see the Facebook page I sent? Yeah, I saw it, but I didn't look into... What is it? It is a Facebook page clearly ran by foreign men trying to curate, uh, like, clicks, I guess. Yeah. You sent yeah, it in they, the group. They post, like, fighter pilots, fighter jets, and then they post the most obvious artificial whores in military garb and the comment section is like an olympic ceremony of the horniest men from every country like thirsting with reckless abandon thinking these are real military women. yeah this I is the did. fakest woman ever it's a, <laughs> it's, it's a there's a third leg coming out of a backpack <laughs> <laughs> and then all the comments oh, no. are like you they represent every <laughs> section of the world like you'll have dudes writing in Thai. All horny, like mm -hmm. Latin American dudes. <laughs> Wait, go to the next image, Mook. Indian dudes. I want to fack you. Yeah, I want to fack you. <laughs> from from Shipwalkin to Hosi Kit Ket Hun Kut Hula. It's like the the. Um <laughs> And there's guys too that are that are. There's got to be dudes from the American South. Mid so, comment. The name tags are in like wingdings. The flag is distorted. Military. Look at these. Look at these. Look at these Asian. Oh, They're <laughs> so obnoxiously thick. <laughs> oh my god. Uh, Honestly, though, like, I could get enjoying that image, and knowing that it's fake, you can still enjoy the image. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> you, know, you know, boys. I kind of, yeah, yeah, yeah. I kind of agree. Yeah. <laughs> they just. I know uh, it's fake. Mm -hmm. They, but they don't know it's fake. I, I enjoy the gorgeous. image. Ingak Danny Gayali. What's military and cabin crew is that's Dallas, Texas. <laughs> <laughs> I want to fack you. You are so beautiful. Love from Nepal. But then it's like like uh, conservative white women saying like you go girl. Thank you for your service. <laughs> oh. I am single and I'm from Bangladesh and I'm in love. This guy, the Count Al Armin just typed out girlfriend. <laughs> <laughs> uh, those are probably some of the most dangerous men in the world. They need oh, the personal yeah. space for dummies. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Is there a hygiene for dummies? <laughs> it has to be. Please, 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 please. please. No. Uh, go to images. 
There's got to be some sort of like cleaning, hand washing, and hygiene for dummies. Are those fake? I think fake. Infection prevention. Sleep hygiene. Thyroid relationships. <laughs> wine tasting. Dude, it might be real. I've been buying just things to for this lazy video. What do you, hey, got? What do you got? The remote, the uh, long straw, the neck pillow phone holder, but also I don't know. <laughs> Are there? Isn't there a thing where if you're laying down, there's glasses that have mirrors in them, oh. so that you're if you're horizontal, you can still Ooh. see forward. I don't. Maybe yes. I'm trying to think of anything in this situation that could be even slightly uncomfortable, and how to improve it. The laying down glasses. Yeah, I'm sp I'm spending three hundred to four hundred dollars on trying to be the laziest. I'll Venmo you twenty. Thanks, man. <laughs> thank you, thank you. Um, what else we got going on? Anything else? Uh, tomorrow. Oh yeah, we are gonna do a live stream on Anus. But YouTube. this will be released. So today. 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 Yeah. So it's already, probably already happened. Yeah. Watch. There's that's, another that's video that's on Anus. Be dead ass. That's. Be what? That's ass backwards. That's, never mind. It's coming out today, but we're filming tomorrow. It's live, but and this it's coming, episode, this episode comes out tomorrow. Okay. So no, it's today. Yeah. So if you're listening to this today, we're doing a um, live stream. Uh, we're doing a, a mural of Mook. I'm doing a mural of Mook. I'm painting Mook. Mm -hmm. So if you want to check out, watch I'll be, that. I'll be there. Yeah. All of us will be here. Uh, Nick randomly has... It's not random. I have an easel and the the palette, and I have all that's the paints not, and brushes. That's not random. No, of course he has an easel, and he has canvases. Yeah, and I'm going to attempt to do a mural of Mook for, as a gift to him, just a portrait. Yeah, yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. And we're having nice it at Mook's you. place. I'll hang it in my apartment. Uh, yeah, KB and Nick will be here reading the chat, doing doing all that stuff. Yep, so and interacting. It'll be fun. Come come in. I feel like I have to shit myself when I'm reading this book, right? Or at least piss myself in a diaper. Oh, yeah, you're going to need, yeah, mm -hmm. take care of the mm -hmm. mixturation. Yep. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Is there anything that could chew for me? How do you, yeah, I'm trying to think. You, that's why we get the pureed cheeseburgers. Okay, yeah, we had a pureed cheeseburger at Long Straw. Out I got the, the lay down glasses. The catheter. I don't really want to do that. I bought a diaper to at least oh, yeah, piss myself. Oh, di yeah, a diaper. <laughs> um, and then like a hole in the sofa for in a bucket underneath. For, for my shit? Yeah. Just, you don't have to actually shit if you don't have to. Right. But yeah. if I do have to? Yeah. All right. Let's see what, how much, what's the damage for something that we probably won't do. Oh, fuck. What's the most expensive item? The iPhone touch remote is, uh, it's, it's also a touchscreen remote. <laughs> <laughs> you might need to get a, well, is there an easier remote for the remote? Uh, I'm not going to do a remote chain. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god well actually I should do it and then Ky I should do the video and Kyle should have to watch the video of learn learning how to do Wii Sports you have to watch the then tutorial I to, then I watch the yeah. that tutorial yeah mm -hmm. it's yeah. perfect All right, uh, Lucy's Breakers um, good these are about to be like the silly bands for college kids yeah <laughs> four milligrams that's the perfect dosage the flavors are there and there's a little bead inside that you pop or break open and it adds more flavor. Do you? Here, give me one. Do you um do you remember before silly bands there were the solid color ones that you bought at Spencer's or Hot Topic and like if a girl broke them, like that meant different things. So if you broke no. a black one, that was like head, and if you broke a red one, it was sex. This is like a Spencer gift. It was like, like these little bracelets. Why did you have one? No. My mom wouldn't let me have them. But other kids have them. And I remember Joseph Nyhart got his broken. Oh yeah. Yeah. Right. Early. <laughs> <laughs> too early. <laughs> uh, let what me, the let, fuck let, is that? Mook? No, Mook, no. But, no, what, no one was. No one was rocking those. <laughs> Hell, we weren't talking about that at all. Nah. It, it went from silly bands to little baby rings. <laughs> what? Your, what was your silly band? Did you wear a lot? You had to have had a hundred yeah. on. Yeah. You were all oh, the way yeah. up. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but then I was yeah at McDonald's molesting the Ronald statue <laughs> with the silly bands. What? 
It was like clownery. I know what you're talking like, about. The, oh, the McDonald's. Yeah, the boys after school, we'd go to McDonald's, molest Ronald. <laughs> <laughs> Like every day, took it out. Um, they took it out because yeah, you, yeah. you were raping him. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> just like, his nipples and his penis have no we, color had anymore. No paint. <laughs> and you could see through from outside. So like all the cars come, going through the drive-through would like watch you rape our adolescent boys. F- <laughs> rape. He was sitting down. Oh, he was sitting down. Yeah, that was. Yeah. yeah. Wait, you could rape Not, him sitting down. We didn't rape him. What did you do? Just like made, like, made out with his neck and shit. <laughs> <laughs> Are those uh, for sale? Yes. How much? Uh, hold on. <laughs> I would love to just have a fucking. I want McDonald. I want Ronald yeah. to be our fourth chair. Uh, four grand or best offer. Yeah, that was like the consolation. I want prize the sitting. You Ronald. didn't have a dollar. Like you got to go at least molest Ronald <laughs> and get some laughs. Everybody else was eating. You had to look at the <laughs> bubble tubes and then just fucking pretend to finger Ronald McDonald. <laughs> <laughs> Um, let's run through uh, just a couple birthdays. Wait, how much is that? Seven? Okay, send me the link. D- don't get that. I'm gonna get it. Seven hundred dollars. I'm gonna get it. I don't think he has. Where are you gonna a put it? Chair. No, so it's fine. We're gonna put him in. He's gonna be our fourth chair. Oh, Fuck yeah! All right, <laughs> I want it. Yeah. Uh. <laughs> Mook, text me the link. Yep. God fucking damn it! Let me check my bank account. You got birthdays? I, pro- yeah, yeah. I probably we'll save him. For the record, I shouldn't be doing this. Yeah, buying no that seven hundred and eighty dollar Ronald yeah. statue. <laughs> when you put it that way, <laughs> when you put it in the most basic terms yeah. of what I'm doing, yeah, yeah, maybe you should uh, buy the hotels first. No, I'm going. I'm going to do this first, and then I'm going to get <laughs> yeah, screamed get the at. Ronald first. <laughs> <laughs> Ronald first, hotels later. <laughs> uh, I said to you. Yeah, I know. It's ten percent off right now. Oh God, they have a used one. They're running a sale. Yeah, don't get the don't don't get, <laughs> don't get the used one. Trust me. <laughs> Is this covered in boy cum? Yeah. <laughs> a used statue. Why is there so many broken silly bands? Yeah, used statue can only mean one thing. <laughs> yeah, I actually I didn't know what that ever could have meant until. <laughs> Wait, hold on. Go, go back up, Mook. That's the go down a little. The go down, go down. Right there, the third one to the right. That was the used one. Oh, that and, thing got yeah, I don't want that. Oh, I want fuck. the sitting one. <laughs> yeah, I got a used Ronald McDonald statue, and there's just a there was a bunch of broken silly bands at the base <laughs> of the penis. <laughs> <laughs> That's scary. Oh yeah. The OG Ronald is horrible. Is this street or do we live on street or avenue? Street. Uh, it's street. Dude, the shipping has to be crazy. Oh, I didn't this. even think about that. It's gonna be an extra oh, yeah, it's so heavy. Uh, I would be careful too. This Etsy shop has zero reviews. Well, yeah, because they haven't sold any of these. True. I'll be the first review. Mm. Okay. Oh, Kyle, go ahead and give us those, uh... Go ahead and give us the, uh, uh, birthdays. Um, entertainer, YouTube star, turning 44. Ah, Little Affleck. Dope Inc. Casey Neistat. What the fuck? You read it, you read it. No, I just just knew they had Casey Neistat is the only YouTuber I know named Casey. Oh. Actress 50, turning 53. All right, cut on that karate scene. Too much Bruce, dude. Too much Bruce, dude. This one's hard. Um, all right, cut on that scene. On that karate scene to, you know, mm-hmm. that's, and then the clue is too much Bruce, dude. That's the clue? Yeah. <laughs> And the other stuff doesn't matter. That just sets up who I'm talking about. Okay. Cut on that karate scene. Oh, okay. Yeah, Too much sure. Bruce, dude. Too much Bruce, dude. Uh, okay. Uh, spring. Spring? No. 
Yeah, no, what? That's, that's my guess. Bruce isn't. Yeah, Bruce will not karate. Be it's going to be Bruce Lee. So something Lee instead of dude, like Natalie Portman or like dude. Uh, dude is probably going to man. Hold on, I need to spend. And you said Leslie it. man. Oh. Yeah, Leslie. Oh, Leslie, Leslie man. man. Leslie man. Actor turning fifty three. Uh, MMA fight. Not me and Connor. Not me and Connor. Not me and Connor. MMA fight. No, not me and you, Connor. You and Gregor. You and McGregor. Yeah. Wow. wow Mo. Yeah. Nice. Uh. Fuck, man. There we go. I got it. You bought, you bought it? it. Yeah. The Ronald. Yeah. Oh my. Gee, were, are we gonna put him in that chair? Yeah. Yeah, that's good. That'll be funny to pan to him when I say something f hilarious. Are you gonna Are you gonna indulge in him? We might have to scrape off. Run it the, back for the old McDonald's logo. <laughs> scrape. Up. Uh, if we got sued by McDonald's, <laughs> so nobody knows. Uh, Rudy, you're now fourth chair. Ronald's third. Yeah. <laughs> you, would, yeah. you would get more laughs. Than you. <laughs> the panda Ronald. Dude, dude, Ronald's been killing on yeah. this. I'm 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 literally having to transfer money from other. Oh, this is just dumb of me. Yeah. Oh, that sucks. That's a bad. That's a bad scene. I, we need the Ronald though. Uh, mm -hmm. More right. Ronald. The boys need to utilize Ronald more. <laughs> Kyle's hardly molested him. Yeah. <laughs> we should have one episode where you're yeah, graphic. I did hardly molest him. <laughs> <laughs> it's a method act. Oh, God fucking damn it. All right. All right. Anything else, boys? Um, uh, one year ago since Wheat Grinkus. Oh, my God. I forgot about that. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Well, yeah. That was about a year. So just uh, thought I'd bring that up. But, yeah, yeah. I, don't, I got nothing else housekeeping. Let's rip a crossword if we have time. We got time. Cool. cool. All, right. All right. God bless.